Hi guys, we're going to be looking at powers of powers in this session. So let's get started straight away. Um, what we've got is a situation like this where we've got x squared to the power of 3 and we want to try and work out what this is um, in index form. Now, as usual, I'm going to do the long way, then get you guys to see a pattern and then see if we can come up with a shortcut, all right? So the long way of doing this is, well, we know anything to the power of 3 is multiplying that variable by itself three times. So in this case, we can write this as x squared times x squared times x squared. And if you remember our multiplying index expressions, uh, if the bases are the same, we actually add all the powers. So in this case, it's going to be x to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2. And so this could be written as x to the power of 6. So as usual, guys, what do you notice? between these three numbers here? What's the pattern that you see? Now, if you had said, well, two times three is six, you are absolutely correct, okay? So in other words, the short form of doing this, uh, let's see, the short form of doing this would be to write it up as x to the power of two multiplied by three, which in turn is gonna give us x to the power of six. Okay, so a couple of quick examples. So if I have y to the power of 7 to the power of 3, then this is equal to y to the power of 21. Or if I have z to the power of 3 to the power of, uh, let's see, 5, then this is going to be z to the power of 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, that's to start things off. Now, Let's throw a number in the mix. Mm. Now, with throwing a number in the mix, um, well, let's see what happens if we expand this out. All right, if we expand this out, we're going to get 3y to the power of 4 multiplied by 3y to the power of 4 multiplied by 3y to the power of 4. So, basically, at this point, uh, we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by another 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and of course we have y to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4, so we're going to get 27y to the power of 12. So what you should have noticed is, well, 4 times 3, that's 12, and believe it or not, the most common mistake people tend to do here is they actually write this. I mean, they do the, the y part correctly, so they'll write y to the power of 12. But then they look at the 3, and they go, oh, 3 to the power of 3. You know, even though they know it's 3 to the power of 3, they just go 3 times 3, which is 9. Uh, and I've seen this happen a few times. So again, just, yeah, let's not be silly by making those mistakes, yeah? So 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, so it's 27. Okay, so let's see another quick example. If I was to do 2x to the power of 3 and to the power of 4. Now what it means is, is you actually have, well, let's do the x part first. So 3 times 4, that's going to be 12. 2 to the power of 4. So you got to do 2 to the power of 4. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And as you can see, that's going to be 4, 2, that's 8, 16. So we've got 16 as our answer. Cool. Next type of question. And suddenly you get a square root in the mix. Best way to do this, guys, is I'll show you guys what happens and then you guys can see whether it makes sense or not. Now, square root of 49, That's a, I've, I've actually chosen a nice number. Square root of 49 is, well, what two numbers multiply to be 49? That's 7. So square root of 49 is 7. And square root of x to the power of 10, I'm just going to do this and see whether you, whether anything makes sense. What do you notice? Well, I'm hoping that you would have noticed that is 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. One thing that, uh, something that's useful to know is if you have square root of x, square root of x can be written as x to the power of half, 
All right. So going back to this uh, question of 49 x to the power of 10 square root of that, I can write it as 49 x to the power of 10 to the power of half. Now using that same kind of um, ideas I've been using before, I could write this as 49 to the power of half and then x to the power of 10 times half. Now 49 to the power of half is the same thing as saying square root of 49. And then on this side, 10 times a half is five. Square root of 49 is seven. So the answer I'm getting at the end of the day are the same two answers, seven x to the power of five. Right, so if I was to do another example, say square root of uh, 25, y to the power of 6, then square root of 25 is going to be 5, and then y to the power of 6, square root of that is going to be y cubed. All right, another example, 64, x squared, let's put another variable in there, y to the power of 6. If this is the question, square root of 64 is 8, square root of x squared, 2 divided by 2 is going to be 1, and then 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. And so that's what my final answer is. All right, guys, that's basically it for this session. So just remember with powers of powers is that you multiply the powers. And if you have square root, it's just um, multiplying the powers by half. Cool. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, drop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Cool. Thank you for watching.